Hello everyone, my name is Shubha Zhang. I'm from the Habits Lab at Northwestern University. This work is in collaboration with Kamoa Moa Lab. I will be talking about a wearable device called Nexus and our study design surrounding Nexus. Nexus is a novel neck-worn device with multiple embedded sensors that has been under development and testing for the past four years. We used it to infer eating behavior using sensors that do not require contact with the skin. The Sensing and Ubiquitous community has focused a significant effort in building systems that detect eating in real time and teaming up with the medical community to tackle the obesity pandemic. One important aspect of this paper is we use only in-wild data. We provide the 270 hours of data and our code to the community to continue to advance this line of research. We also hope to provide the device to the community to advance detection of eating and other behaviors. There are many benefits to such a technology. We can use it to understand the characteristics of an eating episode, such as eating duration, number of bites, speed of eating, and time of day. We can also use it to detect eating to trigger timely interventions to enable behavior changes. Here we show a high-level schematic of our device, which has an embedded proximity sensor that is oriented towards the chin, an IB light sensor, and an IMU. Additionally, the bot has a real-time clock, Bluetooth module, SD card, battery, and a removable bond. We use multiple sensors to capture eating. We mainly use a proximity sensor to allow us to detect nearby objects without any physical contact by emitting a beam of electromagnetic radiation and look for changes in the return signal because the sensor is oriented towards the chain. Changes in the return signal represent the relative distance from the sensor to the chain. And from the signal, we can capture the periodicity of the chewing behavior. The ambient light sensor acts as a proxy to feeding gesture, where the ambient light drops when the user's hand approaches the mouth. An IMU sensor is used to calculate a lean forward angle that allows us to know if a person is leaning forward and backward to take a bite. Collectively, these sensors are used to detect an eating episode. But what is an eating episode? We define eating as a combination of chewing sequences, where the time interval between subsequent chews is less than 3 seconds. To define eating episodes, Instead of using a preset threshold, we take a data-driven approach where we plot the distribution of the intervals between chewing sequences in eating episodes and found 15 minutes provided a reasonable cutoff. We define four signals from the necklace, the three seen in the video and the fourth is an energy-based signal acting as a proxy to motion of the participant. The first step in the algorithm pipeline is segmentation we use a prominent peak finding algorithm to obtain chewing segments. We define a chewing sequence as being a segment that is epsilon periodic if p max divided by p min is smaller than 1 plus epsilon. The intuition here is that chewing sequences will exhibit a periodic pattern where intervals between peaks are close in distance. Hence, the ratio will be close to 1. A dynamic programming-based longest periodic peak finding algorithm is used to obtain candidate segments. We next use the sensor data from the three sensors to extract features for each segment. The features included statistical features, frequency-based features, as well as periodic subsequences features and time of day. Then, we use FGBoost classifier to confirm whether the candidate segment it's indeed a chewing sequence. Then we combine them into eating episode prediction. We have conducted a two-week exploratory study followed by a two-day free living study after learning and optimizing the design of the device. We have a total of 20 participants, including 11 people with obesity and 9 people without obesity. On average, we obtain 82% F-score in the exploratory study and 77% in the free-living study. We trained and tested the models 
based on the obesity status. We show models trained on people without obesity does not work as well as on people with obesity. Suggesting our community, we need to begin incorporating the target population in the studies. To conclude, NextSense is designed to detect eating episodes and designed for long-term wire. We've tested and validated a pipeline that uses the longest periodic subsequence algorithm. And NextSense is validated on people with and without obesity and solely in free living settings. Finally, we provide the device and our dataset to the community. To accelerate real-world adoption, let's make sure we validate the device in the real world and the people we want to adopt it in.